Okay, I'll just record a quick startup video for actually getting started and uploading the ADC code from Lab, Lab 5 into our microcontrollers, compiling it and uploading it using Atmel Studio. Yesterday I used Platform IO, but uh, on the Windows I still personally prefer so far um, Atmel Studio. So how is it done? And what do you have to change in order to get the code running under Atmel Studio? Because there's some pitfalls here. And uh, we have here the, my setup, my Windows. Um, I just started, created a new project. Oh, right. Let, let's start from the very, no, yeah, let's start with a new project here. So new project. This is what it would like when you start Atmel Studio and you're asked to create a new project. We are choosing a GCC executable project. Um, well, yeah, now I leave it with GCC application six. You press OK down here and then you're asked for the device and you enter 32U4 and out of this long list only one device is left, which is the 80 mega 32U4, which we have on our boards. And then you're presented with this skeleton of code, which is quite a good starting point, but we already have the code which we want to program here. And this is a code from Studium. So I will mark everything, Control C. I will mark everything, Control V. And now we have this code in Atmel Studio. It wouldn't compile yet at all because we have to include these two USB libraries. And we do this by going to the Solution Explorer to the right here and right click on GCC application six. And then we can go add existing item. And uh, then we'll have to find these files. I actually know where to find them because I recently used them in a different project. It could have been in the lab four. See, I don't know where to find them. Uh, well, I found them. So here we have uh, the three files, mUSB, mGeneral and mUSB, .h and .c. You can mark all of them at the same time and say add. And now they are listed here under project files. And if you would have a look in the directory where your project is located, you will find that Atmel Studio has actually copied these files there already. So you're working with local copies of these libraries. Every change you make now to these library files, for example, would stay local with these library files. And uh, now I <laughs> <laughs> now I remember that I would have actually to make some change here because this is not the same version of the library files anymore. I actually included this USB print function in the latest version of the MUSB library. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, do we do a quick detour? Yes, we do a quick detour. So I will open the um, USB C here and I actually put it. Oh my God, this is, this is not as, as I intended it. <laughs> um, yeah, this is live, um, live recorded. Uh, let's do something else instead. I open MS, the, both of these and I Try to find on Studium, preferably, um, the, the latest files. Files. Now you can also see the backside of Studium here. Um, labs. Lab 5. And we have the MUSB-C and the MUSB-H. And I want to download this one, the MUSB-C. I actually want to save the file. I will save it in um, where I actually know that my code is. 
Uppsala. Here, it's here, it's electronics, it's Atmel, and it is the newest directory, which is GCC application 6. Okay, here is a file. I say save. Yes, I want to replace it. Sorry for the bang. Um, I will close this one and now I will do the same with musb.h and I will also download this one and I will save it and I will save it in the same location. Save, yes. And now we can go back to Admin Studio and actually it should have told me that these two files have been changed externally. Well, it didn't. Let's see if everything works out. We will see. Um, but uh, now another thing is in Platform IO, these libraries are included as actual libraries. So the libraries will be in the library third search path. Um, on Atmel Studio, they are actually in the same directory in the source directory of our code and there we have to actually exchange the um, bigger than and less than signs with uh, double quotes and yes it tries to make complete double quote pairs by itself um, so like this and now the code should compile and if not then it's also live Oh, okay, it compiled 3,300 bytes, 10% of the program memory is used. And now I should be able to upload this code using uh, AVR Dudes, for example. And so we go and try to find this code, the compiled code here as well. It's in GCC application six, uh, debug, and here is the hex file which contains the code and I put the programmer or the microcontroller into programming mode. I will press program here, connecting to programmer, um, programming, verifying, programmed. And now I will have a look. We go to the document camera and uh, switch on TerraTerm. And here is the code running. As you see, it's putting out measurement values here. And if I turn the knob of the potentiometer, I can actually see how the numbers change because of the voltage change across the green wire here, which is then measured by the ADC.